Hello, I'm Niall, and this is a passage from this novel, A Great Big Shining Star. And once there was no death. People reached their optimum age of late 20s or early 30s, and then stayed that way forever, and the population ballooned, and the earth groaned, and people married thousands of times and had thousands of children, and then, one day, without warning, they started to age. Grey hairs, collapsing joints, decrepitude. And then they started to die. At about the age of 250, they started to die. And God said, what did you expect? You fuckers were getting nothing done. All you did was lie around all day and have sex with each other until you got bored with each other, then you move on to someone else. You got bugger all done. I didn't make you to be lazy. And I've noticed, by the way, that none of you seems happy. The face is on you, like a wet Sunday in Rill. You bicker all the time. All that sex and all you do is take out your anger at yourselves on someone else's back or breast. You know nothing of joy. So this is it. You've got mortality now. Your lives will end. Each and every one of you will one day die. Now you've got something to live for. So people began to do things. Write, sing, sit under trees. Walk by rivers and marvel at the dragonflies and the birds because now they knew that there'd come a time when they wouldn't be, be able to appreciate such things anymore. Now they knew they would one day die. They saw it happening to others. One day they'd be upright and breathing and the next they'd be ashes or in the ground. After a few millennia of this, they began to smile and enjoy their lives and celebrate the world around them. And then again, without warning, they started to die much younger. In the 60s and 70s and 80s, often even earlier. And God spoke again and said, well, I had to do it. You were living too long. You'd faff and fanny and fuck and fart around for a couple of centuries. And then in the final few decades, you'd start producing poems and paintings and things. By which time, all fiery energies had died in you. And all you were doing was moaning and whinging while you're rapidly approaching death. So now, if you want to make something of your lives, you've got to start doing so much earlier because now your lives are so short that the knowledge of their ending will weigh on you throughout every minute of every day. <laughs> Actually, I'll go further. I know I said that thing about three score years and ten, but really you now have no given age at which death will occur. You could die tomorrow, you could die now. Cancer, arteriosclerosis, aneurysm, congenital heart disease. Your years are few. So if you don't enjoy them, squeeze every drop out of them, then you'll waste them in anger and self-pity and self-loathing. Do you know what I mean? You have to live now, today, this second, and relish every short minute of your existence because there will be so few of them. Minutes, I mean. So few minutes. And don't ask me to change this either, because I won't. I'm God, and it's this way forever. I allow the incredible world around you to come about, and none of you bastards appreciate it. So from now on and forever, it's going to be this way. So go on now, fuck off and live. Do you hear the clock ticking away? See the evening coming in. You know about such things as wheelchairs and incontinence and dementia because I've shown you such wonders. So I'll say it again, one last time. Go on, fuck off and live.